Hey guys, I have a couple of new books for you this week I want to talk about. The first one is called Vampirates, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Somper. And I admit, um, I do judge books by the cover. And this is not a cover I would typically pick, but the book is awesome. Usually I'd wait for a kid to tell me, oh no, Miss Day, go ahead and read it, it's really good. And then I'd read it and then I'd love it. So, But this is not a, a cover I would pick out. So we've got Connor and Grace, they're 16 year old twins. And the mom has been dead for many years and the dad has just recently died. And since they're 16, um, they still need a, a legal guardian. And so there's one person in their community that volunteers to be their guardian, and he's this really mean businessman. And they don't want any part of him. They don't like him, they don't trust him. So they come up with the idea to run away. So since they're on a lighthouse, they're surrounded by water, and they wait till the middle of the night, and they get in a, their boat, and they are gonna head off to another uh, town along the coast. And a huge storm comes, breaks up the boat, and when the kids wake up, Grace is on a, a ship full of vampires, and not like the Twilight vampires. And Connor is on a ship full of pirates. So the book goes back and forth between the two of them, and neither one knows if the other one is actually okay. But they kind of got that twin thing going on where they can sense that the other one is okay. So they're going to spend the rest of the book, of course, trying to get back to each other. Really good book. Not my favorite cover. And then another one that I read the other night, and I don't know where this author has been. I guess because it's more high school, I haven't read it yet. But it's called Revenge of the Girl with the Great Personality. And her name's Elizabeth Yulberg. And her book actually reminded me a lot of Sarah Dessen, if you've read any of Sarah Dessen's books. But Lexi, her family situation is kind of different. Her parents are divorced, and she's got a seven-year-old little sister who is very big into the pageant circuit. So think toddlers and tiaras. And um, Lexi's average. She's not beautiful. She's not ugly. She's just kind of somewhere in the middle. <clears throat> but she's tired of always just being known as the girl with the good personality. So her best friend, Benny, dares her to start fixing herself up at school and, you know, fixing her hair and putting on a little makeup and just seeing what happens. And she does. And things start to change. Boys start to notice her. But what she really wants is for Logan to notice her. Now, Logan's girlfriend is very big into the pageant circuit also, and that's how she knows Logan. Um, so as the story goes, she's just, you know, she's, she's tired of being taken advantage of by her mom. You know, her mom makes her give up every weekend to go do the pageants with her little sisters. Her little sister's just a little brat, just spoiled and, and demands things all the time. And finally, Lexi gets to a point where she's like, that's it, I'm done, no more. And it's, it's really neat the way the rest of the story plays out. So if you would like either one of these books, now this cover I do like, this is a little more me, um, just let us know up here at the library and we'll be happy to get them for you. Thanks, have a good night.